Well, it's the 18th day of November 2007. We're down here at the Wallace Emerson Community Center. Just forgot uh, a paint tray yesterday when we were picking up all our supplies to go down. We're going to paint uh, some more ramps at the uh, CFL Eastern semifinal today. Uh, Toronto Argonauts against Winnipeg Blue Bombers at Gate 3 at the Rogers Center. And uh, this is the state of the park this uh, beautiful fall morning here in Canada. At 1260 Dufferin Street at the Wallace Emerson Community Center. And uh, that wall right there that you see in the background, this is uh, Mr. Moxley here, upside down right here. He's a, a very uh, accomplished BMX rider. And uh, there's going to be a Toronto BMX Jam March 7th to 9th. 2008 at the Direct Energy Center at the Canadian National Exhibition Grounds. And uh, the, it'll be this park and these ramps there. And there's the uh, configuration of what everything is going to be. So that's one of the corner bowls we're looking at there. And uh, there's some more ramps that are being built for it in the interim. November 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and Canadian Football League Grey Cup Day, the 25th of November 2007 at the Rogers Centre. This BMX park will be down in the Bremner Street, Street Festival area for any kids to come and ride. It'll be right beside Habitat for Humanity building a house. And uh, I'd like at this point to thank the man who has been building all these ramps and has dedicated this project, Mr. Michael Heaton. And I would like to thank Mr. Al Crawford from the City of Toronto Parks, Forestry and Recreation and his supervisor, Tino DeCastro, for making this project happen. And I would like to thank Michelle Sturrett, Heidi Spanmauer, Danielle Duty, Brian Evans, Jason Calero, Keith Pelly, and all the amazing staff at the Argos Foundation Stop the Violence for your dedication to the community, especially to the kids, and for making this summer project carry on to the fall at the Grey Cup and for having vision to keep this all going in March. So these uh, ramps, right after the Grey Cup event, they'll go into storage at the Molson Amphitheater. Thank you to the kind people down there at Live Nation. This week's uh, going to be quite a ride. The whole message right from the start was give kids an opportunity ready for enjoyment ready for employment and keep the peace not the heat 